Uh, if you want to succeed, you need to set goals. Without goals, you look focused and direction. At, a, at, a, lower, at not- a lower pace, there is no rush. When I say slowly, it means, for example, something like this. If you want to succeed, uh, you need to set goals. Okay. Without goals, you, uh, you lack focus and direction. Goal setting not only allows you to take control of your your life direction, it also provides uh, provides you a, bon- a benchmark for uh, uh, determine determining determine determining whether you are actually succeeding. Think about it: having a million dollars in the bank is only proof of success of one of your goals into a mass riches. If your goal is to practice act, act of a charity, then keeping the money for yourself is suddenly called mass. It's suddenly what? Uh, It's suddenly contrary to how you would uh, define success. Okay, thank you. Well, I was not that uh, pleased with your re- because actually you did not, you, you had not uh, studied that before. Anyway, uh, Sasan is your teacher, Sasan. Uh, yes, you know I couldn't find any problem in uh, pronunciation uh, exactly, but. Uh, really? Uh, you know, maybe sometimes she corrected herself. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, Fatima, how about you? Uh, Sasan did not find any uh, pronunciation, mispronunciation. Um, I see some mispronunciation, <coughs> especially, uh, especially the accent. For example, mm-hmm. in, uh, in I didn't uh, write it. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was uh, I think it was a southern turn. Mm, yes, but uh, it could it could work for you, you know. Mm-hmm, anyway, yes. but uh, if if you I are not the it. teacher uh, generally, I'm not talking to Fatima. Uh, you could just uh, practice take uh, taking notes. That is good for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. One of the mispronunciations. Uh, that um, uh, Zohre had is control, she, she said control. And the other mm-hmm. one actually uh, about uh, the uncertainty of determining or determining. And uh, the other one actually was all about uh, her intonation. You know, she didn't have a good intonation, rising and falling of sentences, particularly when it came to not only. And, uh, are you stressed on what, which word? For example, uh, mm-hmm. determine. But yeah, determine I, I said that determining, and uh, mm, uh, she was not sure whether determine was right or determine was right. About contrary, it was mm-hmm. Yeah, she, she wanted she wanted to hide it very <laughs> smartly while <laughs> With uh, actually professional abilities. <laughs> yes. Anyway, so uh, is there anything else? Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. And uh, in so doing, you got familiarized with this uh, helpful activity that is based on collaboration. If taken seriously, it can raise your uh, awareness actually to the products of your peers. Uh, and also to possible mistakes and errors that could be yours. So that's why I ask you to take notes. Okay, let's change the role. So Sasan will read the second paragraph and Zohreb will focus on that uh, very critically. You know, uh, you need to... Yes. To accomplish your goals, however, you need to know how to set... You cannot. You can't simply say more I slowly, want. More slowly, more slowly, please. Mm-hmm. You cannot simply say I want and expect it to happen. Goal setting 
is a process that starts with careful consideration of what you want to achieve and ends with a lot of hard work to actually do it. In between, there are some very well-defined steps that transcend uh, the, specify, uh, the specifics of each goal. Knowing these steps will allow you to formulate goals that you can accomplish. Okay. So, uh, thanks, Ping uh, Sosan, and uh, I, I, ca I couldn't find any uh, mm, uh, drastic problem. But uh, I, I, I heard you can. But uh, this right, you need know, you need to know. Mm hmm. Sorry, I, I didn't get the last sentence of yours. Maybe I, I check you need to know, but you uh, read, you can't simply say, you know, I'm back of you. Well, well as a matter of fact, I did not uh, exactly remember. Uh, Father, did you uh, annotate of that? Yes, sir. Uh, so, just, um, I think, transcend. Uh huh. Good he point. said transcend. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, I, 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 I almost agree with you. Uh, and the correct pronunciation is transcend. And what's the meaning of transcend, Sasan? Actually, to go beyond a limitation. <laughs> yeah, even there is a photo of that. <laughs> if you just. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you know, if you hover your mouse on that, there will be uh, definitions and examples and even some photos. Uh, this is a part of my uh, photo long dictionary. Long. Pardon? I take Langman. Uh, yeah, but actually there is a built-in dictionary. For example, hover your mouse over that and you will see the photo and the definition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For each word, yeah, amazing. That, that is linkable. Yes, I got this. Mm -hmm. How can I get that dictionary? Just, uh, uh, just uh, hover your mouse over that. Uh, put the cursor of the mm -hmm. mouse over that, over the words in green that are linkable, mm -hmm. and you will see mm -hmm. the definition and photo. It actually associated Thank you. photo. Yeah, you're welcome. You. Because I believe that actually, when you just uh, make it make an asso association between photos and meanings, uh, you will learn them almost forever. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, the last paragraph uh, will be read by Fatima, and uh, Zohre will. Uh, Sasan so, so, so will evaluate it. Yes. Goal setting is much more than simply saying you want something to happen. Unless you can clearly define, you clearly define exactly what you want and understand why you want it in the first place, your odds for success are considerably reduced. By following the five continue sorry mm. Mm. yes, continue what happened there is a pic there is a picture continue uh, and finish the paragraph. Do not stop. Your, um, by following the five golden rules of goal setting, is specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, time bound goals, you can set goals with confidence and enjoy the satisfaction that comes along with knowing you achieve what you set out to do. Okay. Sasan? Uh, if I want to find any mistakes, uh, I can say something about the intonation, uh, because mm -hmm. in the middle of the every th sentence, he wasn't, she wasn't sure about actually the 
the end of every sentence, and he was lo- and I think uh, she was looking for the for the end mm-hmm. in every moment. That was something that I was actually feeling when I was listening to him, to her, and also about uh, reduced. She said reduced. I mm-hmm. think, uh, but I think it's better to say reduced. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, uh, the uh, the other pronunciation uh, exists too. Uh, is there anything else? Nothing. Well, uh, she said unless, and it is unless. Uh, she, she said uh, considerably. I I don't know what what exactly you said, Father, but the correct pronunciation is considerably, and uh, measurable, not something else. You said something else, and uh, you know, in so doing, you can practice pronunciation in a very practical way. And also, this activity should not be necessarily restricted to pronunciation. You can ask for clarification. You can ask for paraphrasing or rephrasing or restatement and everything else. Uh, This was the first time to put this activity uh, into practice. And uh, in the next session, you will be more familiar with that and we we could be more flexible over that. Thank you. It was very good. Thank you for your listening. I'm Dr. Hariri and I can help you to improve your English academically in preparation for the IELTS and TOEFL exam. Here you can see my contact information including my telephone number, Skype ID and also website address at lelb.net and in the footer area of the website you can have all the other Uh, necessary contact information in order to stay in touch with me. Thank you and have a great time.